Okay. Hi, this is Krishal. The title of the video is Fighters Stop Doing This Exercise. I see it all the time backstage. I see it all the time at gyms. And I actually saw a very prominent jiu-jitsu coach, somebody I'm a huge fan of, Eddie Bravo, actually telling his students at a seminar that we need flexible knees. We see this all the time. Guys, get your knees together, create these circles. We also see it off our back, creating these circles in the hopes of creating mobile or flexible knees. This is actually producing an injury mechanism in the knee. If we look at the architecture of the knee, it's a hinge joint. Its sole purpose is to flex and extend the knee, and it operates very similar to the hinge of the door. The hinge on the door is there to be stable to open and close the door. So we call flexible knees in the rehab community MCL injuries, ACL injuries, okay? It makes as much sense as taking a screwdriver, going to the hinge of that door, and making the hinge more flexible. You can imagine when you open and close the door, or flex and extend that knee, or actually cut, the possibility of an injury increases. And when I bring this up to coaches or fighters, their common response is, well, Chris, it feels good. This is not a justification for anything. Imagine you have a scab and you scratch the scab. Actually, it feels pretty good. But you keep scratching that scab, you get an open wound, and the possibility of an infection, or in this case, a knee injury, increases. We need to have a thought process for each and every movement or exercise we do. Just like there's a thought process for a punch or a specific jujitsu technique. There's a thought process behind it. And every movement has to have a justification. How or why does it decrease the likelihood of pain and or injury or increase the possibility of performance? So again, you guys want to prolong your jujitsu careers, your fighting careers, your athletic careers, we need to stop doing these knee circles, okay?